boys and girls, today, or right now, I'm going to show you our featured technique of the week. We are going to be using markers to kind of paint a background for a picture. If you are in fifth or sixth grade, you probably, you should have some artist trading cards that are blank in your bag that you got. You should have five of them. Um, and so really with those artist trading cards, you can do whatever you want on them. Um, and I'm gonna be showing the featured technique on the artist trading cards. If you do not have an artist trading card because you're not in fifth or sixth grade, you can also do these exact same featured techniques on regular size paper or any kind of paper. So I'm just showing you one way of doing something that's cool and you can do that on whatever you want, however you want. This is not for a grade, it is just for fun. All right, so let's have some fun. Okay, what you are going to need to do this is some tin foil. You're just gonna need one sheet of tin foil. You're going to need some Crayola markers, just regular old Crayola markers. You're going to want a spray bottle of water and this can be one of those little spray bottles of water or it can be just a big old one I happen to have a big one spray bottle of water and some kind of paper you can use regular printer paper or if you're in fifth or sixth grade and you have a, a blank artist trading card you can use one of those to draw on this you're going to want to use a permanent marker the reason you're going, going to want to use a permanent marker is because if you use something like this, if you mix this with water, it's going to make the color spread out. So that'll get all messy with what we're trying to do. So if you want it to stay nice and crisp, the first drawing that you do, you're going to want to do it with Sharpie. So I have already done two examples with Sharpie. I've seen this stay at home design on the internet in a couple places so I decided to do my own version. So I'm going to show you how to do it with the I think the big one first. Go big or go home. Haha, <laughs> stay home. So the way this works is you have your paper with some kind of drawing on it that you have traced with Sharpie. Then you take your tin foil and you take your colors. I like to do either some kind of color palette. I like to think about it beforehand because if you do all of the colors, it could all mix up and get a little muddy. So what I like to do is just pick a couple, maybe warm colors or cool colors or colors that just kind of go well together. So if they mix, it's okay. So I think I'm gonna do a green. Well, this is kind of a teal. So I'll do a teal, a green, and hmm, maybe a blue and a yellow. I think those will look nice together. Then I'm just going to color on top of here and color it about the size of a paper. So I'm going to take my blue and I'm just going to color a blob of blue there. And you can do blobs like this or you can do stripes. And there's a trick for if you're using yellow at all, you want to use a lot of yellow because as because yellow is already a pretty light color. So if you don't use very much of it, the other colors kind of take over and you end up not seeing it very much. So if you do choose to use yellow, make sure you use a lot of it when you're coloring. Take up a lot of space with the yellow. And I'm just coloring in random blobs. Ooh, this is a pretty color. Then I take my spray bottle and I squirt it right on the tin foil. Make sure you have your paper ready because you're going to want to do this pretty quick. So I squirt this right on the tin foil. Just 
two squirts was enough for me. Then I take this and I do it face down. I just lay it right on top. And I use my fingertips to rub this around to make sure everything gets pushed down. Then I peel it up. Ooh. I like this one. It looks kind of tie dye. And each one ends up being totally different and it looks so cool. Then you use a paper towel to wipe this clean. And you can do it over and over again with a bunch of different papers. Just want to wipe this until it's dry. And you can do it again with another paper. So this one's going to be a lot tinier. Let me see. I think I'll do some different colors with this one. I think I'll do maybe some sunset colors. So I'll do pink, orange, mm, those are kind of the same. Pink, orange, and yellow. And remember what I said about yellow. If you use yellow, make sure you use a lot of it. And I'm going to do this one more in stripes so it looks more like a sunset. Make sure that would fit. Yep. Then I take my squirt bottle, squirt it right on there. Take this, flip it over, face down. Use my fingertips. Whoop. Rub it around. And peel it off. Ooh, that one's pretty. And then I can just keep doing this over and over. As long as I have artwork that I have drawn on with a Sharpie, then you can just keep doing this over and over. All right, that is our featured technique for the week. I hope you have fun.